Richard, I'm intrigued by this wrapped specimen that we've got in front of us and what lies inside. Where did it come from? It's actually part of the Flinders Petrie collection that was donated to us by the Egyptian Exploration Society back at the uh, start of the 20th century. Oh wow, and has anyone unravelled it to have a look inside? Never been physically opened, never investigated. Can we have a go, have a peek? Absolutely not, no. We have already used our micro CT scanner to look inside and get a detailed view of the specimens. The people over in the CT lab are able to use thousands of X-ray images that they stitch together to produce a three-dimensional representation it's a non-invasive, non-destructive technique which doesn't harm the specimen inside. And the quality is so good, we can do an enormous amount of scientific analysis from those images. Oh, wow. So this is the 3D image that it creates then? Uh, that's right. What we have here is the container uh, that the animal mummy is within. Um, and here all the external wrappings can be seen as well. But the most interesting part is that we can look inside. Ooh, wow. It was at this point that we realised that we were dealing with snakes. With snakes? Yep. So not mummified cats or pets that we'd expect, but this, this is a total surprise. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, from the outside, it gives you no indication whatsoever of what's on the inside, as most of the other mummies do. And the other thing that was really surprising was the fact that we were dealing with multiple specimens inside a single mummy wrap. Wow, so we really were revealing a secret. Yep.